It's 2021 and the Instagram algorithm has changed. Let's be real. Out with the old and in with the new. Likes and comments aren't what we're focusing on anymore. In today's video, I'm telling you all about the new Instagram algorithm and everything that you need to know, the cold hard truth to start growing your brand on Instagram here in 2021 and into 2022. Let's get into it. Hey, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I am genuinely so excited that you're here. Welcome to the family. If you are new and if you are returning, glad to have you back. If you are new, my name is Jessica Ludlow. I am a social media business coach and marketing strategist. I help you get in front of your ideal clients on your favorite platforms and start making more money. Today, friend, today we are talking about the new Instagram algorithm. It has changed once again. Can we just like sigh for a minute? <sighs> no worries. I'm going to help you get through it because I know everything that you need to know in order to not only find people to buy from you, but actually have them buy from you and then have a profitable brand. So let's get into it. Like I said, Instagram is done with likes and comments. In some areas, you can't even see how many people liked your photo. Some of these vanity metrics are starting to go to the wayside. However, there's something new that Instagram is focusing on. What is that? Shares and saves. That is right. Instagram now cares about who is saving and sharing your content because anyone simply anyone can go and like your photo or comment, right? But only the special people will save your photos or your captions, your posts, and only certain people will want to share it with their audience. So Instagram's wanting to help you create a more tight, cute community and is putting more emphasis on these two aspects. What are saves? First of all, I'm gonna put the icon up here. Saves are when you are able to save someone's post and be able to go in and look at it later. There is a certain type of content that is best for saves. Let's talk about it right now, shall we? Okay, things that can be saved. Tutorials, how-tos, pieces of information, funny videos, Anything that creates a lot of emotion within the audience member, within the viewer, is going to entice them to want to save it for later. If you are in the health and fitness world, saving workouts is really popular, or recipes. If you are a mindset coach, you might um, put a list of journal prompts out there. People are going to want to save that for later to use. So what you need to do here is step into your consumer's shoes and understand what do they want to see and beyond that, what would they want to save? Then create more of this type of content. Okay, so that's saves. Let's talk about shares. Shares are the next best thing because here's the thing. When you share it with an audience member, if you share Beyonce's post with your audience, Instagram is going to say, wow, this person really liked it so much that they want to share it with their group of friends. That's amazing, right? Wow, more people are going to, to want to like it. So what Instagram sees is, wow, okay, people like this and we'll continue to push it in front of more people. Plus, naturally, when you share something, you're putting it onto your stories, let's say, your Instagram stories, or you send it in the DMs to a friend, a coworker, a colleague, a spouse, whoever, and people are going to see it more and more simply because they're going to click on that image and want to see what it's about, read the caption, get the full experience. So again, we see the power in shares. The, this is kind of how things go viral when you think about it. When someone loves something so much, it's so funny, it's so clever, it's so cute, it's so creative, it's so cool to learn how to do something that they share it with their audience. That, in turn, is going to help you as a brand in saying, let's create more of this type of content. 
So how can you create content, again, going back to all of these emotions that you can evoke, that is going to entice people to want to share it with their audience? Let's talk about comments and likes. Which one is next best important to Instagram? The answer is comments. Why? Because commenting is more sentimental than a simple like. It takes less than a second for you to like a photo. It's a button or a double tap of a heart. However, a comment takes more time, whether it is then three buttons you have to click if you're simply just putting up an emoji of the, hitting the comment button and then the emoji button and then the send button, or if you decide to get quality, if you get quality comments, which are any types of comments that are more than four words, these are high quality content um, comments in Instagram's book, it's going to say, wow, people are really liking this again. Let's start to put it in front of more people. This is why comments are more powerful than just likes themselves. So likes are at the bottom. Yeah. Should you still like people's photos? Should you still kind of care about likes on your own? Yes. However, when you are working to create content, you want to focus on how can you create content that is going to evoke emotion and evoke interest in both your audience, your viewer, and their audiences and want them to share it and save it for later? Does this all make sense? This is here to help you grow your business. And I have so many more videos about growing on Instagram. I will put a few right around here that I recommend you checking out. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There's a new video out every Tuesday and Thursday here to help you grow your brand in 2021 and beyond. I am signing off for now and I will catch you on the flip side.